Hello again and welcome from a headless Mr. Ibasiak to a new unboxing video. When, when, oh when will this ever end? One day it will, one day it'll all end folks, but for now it's still going, I'm still unboxing vacuums. Still keep myself uh, pressing that buy it now button on eBay and other websites and bidding on things and never mind. So this one, as you can see from the title, is a Hoover Porter Power. I can't remember the model. But this uh, was about the third in the lineup. As far as I can recall, in the UK we got four Hoover Porter Power models, four versions. The first one being the one that was made in the USA. I think that could have been S1103, possibly. Don't quote me. So that was made in the USA and it came with um, a non-stretch hose and white cleaning tools. And then Hoover started producing that model in the United Kingdom but gave it a Hoover Flex double stretch hose and some different cleaning tools. So that was the second version. And then the other two versions that came out, one which I'm about to unwrap, they produced a um, grey version, which is this one. And then the deluxe version, the Porter Power Super in Burgundy, that actually had some wheels on it and a front caster. And I had one of those, of course, in, back in the day. I had a Porter Power Super. I think they, they retailed at about $59.99, the Super version. Or was it $69.99 and $59.99 for the standard? I'm not sure. They were around about that sort of price. This one is S1248, 800 watts, quarter power. Um, this one obviously made in the UK, I assume canvas slang in Scotland. And the seller, I'm glad the seller's put it inside another box. I'm so rather pleased to see that. One reason, I don't want the couriers knowing every time I get a vacuum cleaner. And for another reason, it helps protect the box. This has come all the way from a place called Hebden Bridge, which is just down the road from me, but uh, I couldn't collect it myself, so I did have to pay the postage. Here's the box, I remember it well. One day I would have bought this, before I, I used to buy a lot on the internet, I probably bought this from a shop and would, would have been carrying it home. Or used a mail order catalogue. That's the carpet and, and floor nozzle you get supplied. It's a carpet nozzle with a clip-on brush, or it's the same picture. And just there are the other cleaning tools, so let's have a look. Looked okay in the listing, but of course eBay listings can be a bit deceptive, can't they? They look okay in the photograph. And when you get them home and... well... Anyway, let's have a look. Porter Power not really sold as a replacement vacuum. Um, unless you lived in a very small house, but it was ideal for people who wanted to clean their car and their stairs, etc. Hmm, that flex. I mean, it looks a bit brown. Could be, uh, could be the lighting, or it could be I'm a bit colour blind. But the, I'm sure the flex. Oh, I thought the flex would have been black. I don't know. Looks a bit brown. There's an oh, it's an ever ready. Oh no, it's a Sainsbury's, but that's made by EverReady. That plug, that's an EverReady style, but this one's uh, branded Sainsbury's. But it is a typically EverReady style of plug. You've got your little clip as well to secure the cable. Here it is. Let's have a look. Yeah, looks okay. A few little little marks on it, but they're not damaged. It's just little marks that will rub off, I'm sure. This is the exhaust vent. Now often, and I'm not sure if it's going to be the case with this one, often the diffuser would perish in the porter power. Mm. 
Mm, I don't really want to handle that too much because I feel that that probably will disintegrate. I can easily get a similar thing to go on there if it does. It's got a hole here so you can actually use it as a blower, which is quite useful. Never took paper bags this model. I have actually seen, when I was researching water power, I saw on eBay in the USA that you could get bags for it. And I think you can still buy a Porter Power in the USA under sort of the commercial banner. This is the uh, sucking end. I haven't clicked the, I don't really want to force anything. I haven't clicked the uh, drill. It's not, wanting, it's not wanting to click. I'm not gonna force anything at the moment. Suction end here, there's a little flap to help stop any dirt coming out. You can actually buy, you can still buy, quite expensive, but I have seen on a Spares website a uh, replacement cloth bag. And um, the one I had, this is brown, but the one I had was um, a grey check. There's the inside. Now, no, absolutely no filtration, and I was a bit surprised at this when I first got a Porter Power, but there is no secondary filter. There is just this grill here which would stop any any sort of large particles if they somehow got past the bag from getting into the motor. The filtration on this machine would have been pretty dire. I wonder what rating it would get. Uh, it would probably be the, the worst rating at the, at the moment that we have these uh, ratings now. Might be even unclassified because all the filter is is the cloth bag. So the air will pass through the bag, through this grill, through the motor, past the diffuser, which isn't a filter, it's, it just diffuses the air. I believe I did put a Sensortronic filter over that when I had one of these from you. I have washed the cloth bags in these quite successfully, but never in a washing machine. I've always hand washed things like that. So there we go, that's the main unit. So apart from needing a bit of a, a wipe, I'm pretty pleased. There's the on-off switch. So it looks a bit ugly that side because that's where we've got all the screws. It comes apart very easily. You just undo these screws and the, the, this part comes away to access the motor. Not too bad condition underneath. This is where you'd expect to get a little bit of damage, but it's not too bad. Here we go. Let's see what that says. It's a Hoover model. Whoops, Hoover model S1248, 50 hertz, 800 watts, 240 volts. Seal number S1248, 901, Um I think, I think, might be wrong, but I think this makes this, um, 1989, January 89, I'm not sure, I think it does. Made by Hoover PLC Great Britain. So yeah, um, the bottom is a little bit scuffed, but I expected that. For some reason, it's not wanting me to, I can't close the hatch. I don't, as I say, oh, there it is. Is that it? No. Well, well, I'll look into that later. I'll have to just leave that dangling. So there's the, the basic unit. You could get a carry strap for this as well. In fact, I don't know if I've still got it. Probably not. There's two anchor points, one here and one here. So you could actually get a strap so you could sort of adjust it and have it at sort of this sort of height while you're using the machine. So that's quite useful actually, that strap. Here's the instructions. Hoover Portable Cleaner. I've probably got these instructions as well. I've got some uh, Porter Power instructions somewhere. There we go. Is it showing? It doesn't show. Oh, it does actually on uh, illustration number five there. You can just see where the, the shoulder strap is being attached. I wonder if you can still get that. I don't think so. I did have a look on a spares website for Porter Power spares and I don't believe that the strap was available. I certainly 100% remember having a strap. I might still have it, I'm not sure. 
Here's the hose. Obviously, it's not going to reach up the stairs, but it doesn't have to because of the size of this. It will sit on a stair easily. Um, also, you can carry it, of course. Even better if you've got the shoulder strap. So this fitting, Hoover used this quite a lot. Uh, this was used on their Freedom Cleaners, uh, as well as the Power Glide. I have a feeling this has got a Freedom or a Power Glide motor in it, this vacuum. You've got a little bit of Hoover branding. I don't know if we can, if it's going to focus there. So it's the, this hose is very good condition. No damage, because these hoses could get damaged if they were stepped on. They weren't like crush proof because they've got a metal spring in them which obviously if you were to put any heavy weight on could distort but that's in pretty good condition. Here's the hand grip so it swivels at this end. I think it's fixed at the cleaner end. Yes it is. We'll just pop it into the cleaner like that. Lovely jubbly. So there we go. Suction control here little ring now this is the same I'm pretty sure my Hoover Jet had this sort of hand grip it didn't have a stretch hose I'm not oh, I don't think it did I can't remember it's that long ago and I think the Jet just had a standard um, flexible hose rather than a stretch hose so there's that so we should have two extension ones everything so far is is great it's all all original Obviously all plastic, they don't have the lock ring, the deluxe version, the Porta Power Super, the cleaning tools for that, or, and, and the second generation Porta Power. They were plastic, but they also had Hoover's lock system. These are just a friction fit. But pretty, pretty, pretty strong by today's standards. Obviously your standard crevice tool. Wow, it doesn't look like it's been used. Um, all purpose nozzle. Pretty good condition, everything really. Just needs a bit of a wash. Dusting brush. That's quite a good, it's got a little bit distorted. I can sort that out. But that, for, for this type of clean, that's a, quite a good dusting brush. Quite soft. Um, if I can put it directly on. So that is pretty good. You know, I could I could certainly use that around my home for dusting, Venetian blinds, etc. I don't think I'd use it on my TV screen, but mostly everything else, I'd be quite happy to use that brush. And finally, we've got the main little bit pants, this nozzle. The super version had um, the pedal floor tool similar to the one you used to find on the Freedom and the Power Glide. So this is a little bit more basic. Again it's had very light use. Ooh, made in France this nozzle. I don't know if we can quite see. Just there. Can we see that? Made in France. So that's your basic carpet nozzle. So you know it was designed to clean small areas of carpeting, not not for the larger home, but you can clean a small area. Ideal, I expect, for a caravan or a motorhome. This, and finally, looks looks like this part's unused. This is the uh, clip, the hard floor cleaning brush that you clip onto that nozzle. Not sure if they've tied that. I don't know if this is how it's how it was when it was new. I can't remember. Possibly I'm opening this for the first time. It certainly hasn't been used. Lots and lots of brushes on that. Look at that. And that just clips to the end. Not as convenient as having, you know, a retractable brush. Oh, there we go. So that's that's the hard floor adapter. Okie dokie, that's about it for this video, apart from of course, just a quick demo. I'll do a, a, another video of course on this machine when it's been cleaned up, but as you can see, not a lot of cleaning is required. I'm pleased to have another port of power. Not sure if I'm on or off, so um, I'll plug it in. It's 
move all that out of the way. So I'm pleased to have this, it's complete, it's all original, it's got the instruction book and the original box. So that's how I like to find the vintage cleaners. Obviously you're more likely to find vintage cleaners that have seen a lot of use, so all battered and don't have any uh, instructions, but let's just clear this away. I'm pleased to find everything is how it should be. Yeah, doesn't look very long the flex, possibly five meters. Okie dokie, have I got a socket here? Yes, right, I'll just switch it off at the socket, it might turn on, it might turn on, I think actually the forward button when it's forward is on, but I can't remember. No, it was in the on position. Sounds okay though. That sounds, that sounds pretty good. I don't think there's anything wrong with that motor at all. Not, not quiet, but not overly noisy. Just a little bit concerned about my flap. My flap sticking up. I don't know why, it's um... It was clicked shut when I uh, opened it. Is there something... Oh, there we go. I was just, just didn't want to um, force anything, you know. With old things, you just, just have to be careful. As you know, I've had a few uh, <laughs> few vacuum disasters. Fortunately, in this one, in this this one's about to blow up. This is not a vacuum disaster video. So there we go. Let's uh, let's give this old port of power a quick go. It's not having much of an impact <laughs> on the carpet. If I was to attach the brush, I, I would get a bit more, you know, of an agitation. But, um, you know, I wasn't expecting it to be fantastic. But all in all, yeah, I'm, I'm chuffed with that. I'm really pleased. Just a little bit of a wipe, a bit of a polish. And that will be as good as new, as the ABBA song went, if any one of you can name the album that that song comes from. You get a star point from me. Uh, right, there we go. That's the Hoover Porter Power. Very pleased with that. Don't blow up on me now. Lovely, vintage-ish. You know, this is from the era where I was absolutely obsessed with vacuums. I know it's hard to believe now, but I was really into my vacuum cleaners back in the 80s and 90s, especially, and then went off them. And this was one vacuum that went in my terrible vacuum cull the amount of vacuums that I got rid of that if I had them now in the condition I had them and put them on eBay I'd be uh, probably looking at quite a pretty penny but I'm slowly getting some of them back bit by bit obviously it's not the same as having them from brand new but this is the next best thing it's as good as good as I can get so there we go that's a little Hoover Porter power made in Britain it says just underneath Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe, please thumb up, give me some encouragement, I do need it. And uh, don't forget, to check on my back catalogue because I've, rec I've recorded many, many videos, done lots and lots of demo videos. Uh, vacuum cleaners, carpet washers, floor washers, steam cleaner, and there's many more to come as well. So um, hope you enjoy the output so far and uh, look forward to lots more videos in the future. So until the next time, for me and the Hoover Porter Power, it's goodbye. <laughs>